So today we are going to release version 9 of PDF Viewer for WordPress. This version of PDF Viewer for WordPress includes a brand new feature that is the support for flipbooks. It now comes with a flipbook mode. And in this video, I'm going to provide more information about the new flipbook mode, how it's going to affect the currently created uh, PDF Viewer shortcodes and how you can uh, set the new shortcodes to display as a flipbook by default. Okay, so let's get started. And for this, first of all, let's see what happens to already created PDF Viewer for, for WordPress shortcodes. And uh, oh, okay, so I have an iframe shortcode on this page. Uh, this is an old shortcode. So let's see what what is changed on this. So when you scroll, it works just normal. So here is actually two uh, previous and next buttons added on this version as well. So you can actually navigate through the pages. And then if any of your users want to use the flipbook mode on existing PDF readers, they can just click here and click on flipbook that's it now it's converted to a flipbook okay so it's working with flipped scrolling now if uh, they want to view it as a real flipbook currently it's just showing as a flip scrolling mode so they need to choose this even spread Okay, so now it's the real flipbook. Now they can actually just scroll through the pages. And also click here to navigate through the pages. And that's basically what's happening to the already existing PDF Viewer for WordPress short course. Now let's see how you can uh, set or create a new short code that will display the PDF with flipbook by default so for that I have another post here sorry okay so this is the um, post I have another iframe shortcode here but it opens with the flip, flipbook by default so as you can see we have the flipbook open by default you can just flip through pages So let's see what's the mechanism behind this one so this is the edit page and this is the short code so basically we just need to uh, change the value of two short code parameters that is default scroll and default spread like default scroll should be three and default scro uh, spread should be set to two but remember when you are creating short codes using our a short code generator or link generator main items here or using the tiny MC button here you will see the options differently for example this is the default scroll so you just need to choose flip here and default spread select even here okay so now let's create a <coughs> short code using the generate iframe shortcode admin menu here so select a pdf file for example this one okay frame width 100 percent 800 percent sorry 800 and now as we're going to make it a flipbook first so we need to change the option default scroll to flip and default spread to even spreads that's it copy the short code and paste it anywhere so as you can see this has the exact same options as the above so we can just remove this one update So we're getting the exact same results. 
okay additionally there is a little difference from the default pdf uh, reader screen uh, you cannot actually zoom more than the screen size so you the users will be restricted to the screen size you can make it smaller but not bigger than the screen size okay and another thing is if the screen size of viewer is less than 600 pixel they won't get this view they will actually get no spreads view so okay this will be displayed as a one page because in smaller screens we won't get enough space to accommodate two pages view and users won't be able to read the text of your pdf and that's why we're just uh, making it one page on smaller screen sizes okay that's basically it and um, if you have any questions regarding the new feature or anything you can uh, check uh, you can contact us using our help desk at themeandcode.com slash help desk slash help desk So we respond to support tickets as soon as possible mostly within 24 hours time range and okay thank you for watching the video and we hope you enjoy the new feature as well as the existing ones of pdf viewer for wordpress thank you